Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm checking out The Flying Fox by Woodland Mechanic. Early1981's World of Golf is actually hosting this course for this week's event. That was selected by Early1981 Junior. So let's get right into this one. Let's have a look at the course settings. As always, leaving everything at default. Fairways and greens are firm. The green speeds are fast. Time of day is morning and the weather is overcast. We do have four tiers options we are going to be swinging from the blue tees which are playing 7,413 yards and as always pin set number one now thank you so much for the continued support on the channel guys views are sadly way down to previous weeks but hopefully that's just a case of the game going a little bit stale for the majority of you but like i said i have actually already played this course off camera it is the host course for early 1981's a world of golf society in this week's event and I had so much fun out there on the course I thought I would replay it and showcase it on the channel for you guys to enjoy so here we are on hole number one this is a downhill par four 383 yards I think if we do put a good stroke in this we will just come up short of the front of the green there's a tiny grey fast and look how far left that ball is going it should kick right and I fully expect this to end up in the heavy rough. It's done exactly that. Horrible lie percentage at my feet. I'm going to go gap wedge. Just going to apply full backspin and see if we can land this as close to the pin as possible. And hopefully it does check up. It's a red fast. So it's going to be way left off the pin. And that's not sat down whatsoever. Nice. But it is going to leave me a 15 foot putt. Green speeds are 176. This is going to turn from left to right. It's on a good line. Is it going to turn? Oh, it does turn. And what a fantastic putt. I think I finished nine under on my society event, which is on a uh, pro difficulty settings. Just not happened for me the last few events. My game is very inconsistent. I'm either swinging really well from tee to green and having an abysmal time on the greens or I'm actually putting really well and not swinging well from tee to green but there's a red fast that's exactly summing up my game just now it's not the worst of lies in the bunker we are going to have to go pitching wedge here anything left side of the pin should work out well hopefully this has got the legs to get there there's a perfect I have pushed my swing line ever so slightly that's coming up way short I really did not expect that to come up as short as that. So I am going to have a lengthy putt from 27 feet out, 5 inches uphill. This putt is going to break from left to right. These are the kind of putts I just do not drain on a regular enough basis. But this has got a chance if we hit it. I have hit it. And that does drop in on the edge of the cup. And I pick up my second birdie of the round, consecutive birdies. And that does put me to two under par. So a fantastic start to this round. And I'm going to keep saying it, the better players on this game can make putts on a consistent level from that kind of range. Sadly, I'm just not one of those players. This is a downhill par three. I'm going to hit six iron, full backspin, and play for the front left of the green here. There is a slope that should take us down towards the flag stick. That is a tiny fast, but I have pushed my swing line right. This should kick right and start to make its way onto the green down towards the pin. That's a really good shot. And that is going to set me up for another birdie. This time from 11 feet. Probably the easiest putt of the round that I have had so far. It should hold its line. It does hold its line. So a fantastic start here. I am three under. Albeit I have played this course before, guys. So I do kind of remember some of the shots. Hole number four is a downhill par five. Just going to take this down the center of the fairway. Beautiful swing. There's a perfect, really good strike. That is really going to open up the hole for me and we should comfortably reach this green in two. But stay tuned for the locomotive uh, railway. It is up here, the steam, steam train. It really is a fantastic sight. Three wood is going to be far too long. I think we can just about kick up the false front here with five wood. Chase it on. It's a baby fast. And with that, we're actually going to miss my landing zone and that is kicked left 
Should be nothing more than a splash shot though. So not the end of the world. So 22 yards out. Just going to splash this with a sandwich. Full off, full backspin. It will be long, but let's see if we can get it spinning back off that slope that's past the pin. It's a great execution. This has a chance of spinning back in. Come on. Didn't really generate as much spin as I had hoped. But this is a, a missable putt from five feet. It should turn very aggressively at my feet, which it didn't. But look at my putt line. That's not a misread. That was just my putt line there. I really pushed that ball hard right. And I'm disappointed to walk away with the par on probably the easiest hole of the course so far. So with that, we will remain at three under. So hole number four, you do have options off the tee here. I'm going to try and take this down the right-hand side fairway. I'm not pulling off the, the straightest of swing lines today. But that should comfortably hold the left-hand side of the fairway. And that's going to leave me nothing more than a pitch into this downhill green. 106 yards, down 20 feet. I've actually got a sand wedge made for this. Just going to apply a good bit of backspin. Let's see if I can get this stopping on a sixpence here. It's another baby fast, but it is going to take me left of the pin. Yardage was actually really, really good. If we hit the perfect there, that would have been money. But it's another pretty straightforward putt from 15 feet out. Just going left edge of the cup here. Oh, and that should there. hold its line. Does hold nice. its line. Played that rather firm. But we do move to four under par. Four so four birdies, par one par. Should be five birdies. Here we have a lovely now this is a tough tee shot. I'm just going to apply a good bit of deal loft and a little bit of fade here. And try and use the hole of the right hand side of this fairway. That's a red fast. Just swung far too quickly there. It's going to work out, but I think it's going to leave me a horrible lie at my feet. I was wanting to get down to that flat section on the right-hand side of the fairway. But it's going to be nothing more than a pitch. 80 yards out, up 9 feet. Gap wedge should be made for this, actually, with the firm greens. This ball should get a firm bounce out. Awkward lie at my feet, as confirmed. There's a perfect. Now, this ball should really bounce hard and hopefully right towards the pin. Wow, that sat down really, really quickly, actually. Didn't expect that. I expected a lot firmer bounce there on these greens. But this putt is going to turn from left to right, playing at dead weight. It's got a chance if it turns. It has turned. And wow, really putting well today. And as you've all heard me say in previous videos on this game, driving's for show. Patterns for dope. Okay, let's see what here is hole seven. number seven, and I'm sure this is the hole where you will get the first glimpse of the steam tray. Great contact. Nice. There's a baby fast, but that's going to work out really, really well. That will find the center off the fairway. And hopefully that's going to be nothing more than a wedge. This one's about a hundred yards. Into the seventh green. Sam wedge, this club really helps me out so often with the yardage. So just applying a little bit of deal off. I'd rather be long than short here because there is a backstop. There's a perfect. And there's our first glimpse of the train off there on the right-hand side. That really is a fantastic approach shot. Right, and surely I am going to walk away with the sixth birdie off the round. And I swear I play far better on Master Swing difficulty, which it just doesn't make sense. But I think I'm more focused, I'm more relaxed, and I just do not really enjoy playing on pro settings. But look at that train, how cool is that? Gap wedge with a good bit of backspin here should be really, really good. Wind will move me from left to right. It's a fantastic strike. That needs to get down. Lovely overhead view of the train and the carriages. Wow, I'm surprised that ball went so far past the pin there. And that is going to leave me a tricky downhill putt from 17 feet out. This ball should turn from left to right. Don't want to overhit it. It's not really turned. That is going to breeze by the left-hand side. It's going to leave me a simple tap in par from five feet out, which I do convert. I'm having a solid front nine here so far. Hole number nine. I think we can comfortably carry the bunker here, but look at this for a hole. I just love the layout of this course. 
such a risk reward golf course if you pull off a good shot you will be rewarded but at the same time if you don't play a good shot this course will punish you and it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen to me here a tiny grey slope and that ball is going to find the heavy rough and I'm certainly not reaching this green in two now it's actually just a light rough but let's see if we can chase three wood out of here and hopefully leave myself nothing more than a pitch there's the perfect. This ball actually may run out of fairway here, you know. Let's take a huge kick. And it's winding its way down a fairway. And we have found the light rough. But this should be made for my lob wedge flop. Just applying full backspin due to the, the slope at my feet. It's a red fast, but that's going to work out. It should sit down almost instantly, just like that. And that is going to ensure my seventh birdie off the round from four feet out. And I do move to 7 under par. Fantastic front 9. Like I said, I finished 9 under par. I do believe the wins were double figure wins. But with the, the difference in swing timing and the punishment on Pro and Master, the fact I'm 7 under through the front 9, I'm very happy with that. There's another fantastic tee shot. But such a a really fun golf course this. The designer really has made a fantastic job off it. So five iron, full backspin here. Try to play the front of the green and let that slope do the rest. Now that did not feel like a red fast and I'm probably going to be in the water here. And just like I said a few holes previously, this course will punish it if you don't execute good shots. There's a stupid drop zone once again, guys, so I'm going to have to go back and play it the exact same shot. Playing for the, the front of the green. There's the exact same shot. I'm going to be extremely lucky if this stays dry. It has done, so I'm probably looking at a double to maybe triple bogey here. This is a big shot coming up here. I'm going to try and be pretty aggressive and see if I can hold this out. It's a great execution. Has it got the legs to, to get down there? It hasn't. It's going to come up a little bit short, but this is a big putt for double bogey. But this is what I love on Master Swing difficulty, and this is why I play it, guys, because if I hit a red fast and pro there, I don't think I find the water. On Master... I'm finding water all day long. But let's see if we can kick off the cart path here. Wow. Oh, it's another tiny fast. It's going to find the fairway. I'm probably going to kick into the, the light rough. Just missing the cart path there due to the, the grey fast. Let's see if we can bounce back straight away with a birdie. Just going to splash this. This should sit down really close to the pin. Yardage is absolutely bang on for me here. Go on, get in the hole, get in the hole. Oh, I tell you what, if I execute a perfect there, I do believe that would have ran into the cup for the eagle. I am going to pick up another birdie, though. That gets me back to six under par. My eighth birdie of the round, sadly. The double bogey really affecting my score. Number 12, downhill par three. With that slight tailwind, seven iron. With a little bit of backspin should be good here. Anything right of the pin should filter back towards the flag stick. There's a perfect. Starting to, to feel my swing time. And now this is going to work out really well. It should kick right. This ball should turn right. If it's got the legs, it could well be an ace. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, it's just going to come up short. I tell you what, that was on a fantastic line. Hopefully I do convert this for the birdie. Once again, playing it firm, taking a little bit of the break out. And I move to seven under par. My ninth birdie off the round so far here. And hole number 13, it's another par five. Just going to deal loft and apply a little bit of fade. Try and find the center of the fairway here. There's a red slow. That has come out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. I know that is not a red slow. I've not had a red slow all day. And it just seems to, to be so random at times. So this is going to be tough to walk away with birdie here once again. Not playing the par fives well at all so far. I think we did par the first of the, the par fives in the front nine. 
So this is going to be a long shot in. I think four hybrid should comfortably bounce on the cart path here. Exhibition golf shot coming up here. There's a laser beam perfect. The wind's holding me up. Surely this kicks on the cart path and kicks up onto the dance floor. We just made it. There's the firm bounce. It's going to give me a birdie opportunity. That's a great exhibition golf shot there. There's actually not a lot of movement in this putt. It is downhill. It will gradually start to turn from left to right. This would be a fantastic birdie if we could convert this. Certainly got the weight. It's trying to turn. Surely that turns in. Go on, get in. Oh my goodness, I think we actually just caught the lip there. I maybe just played that a tiny bit too far. And it's another par 5 that I failed to birdie. Really disappointed with how I've played the, the par 5 so far. But hole number 14, let's see if we can split the fairway. And divide these two bunkers. Just applying a good bit of deal off. There's a perfect. Really starting to feel my swing timing now. I just don't have the, the time to play as many rounds of this game as I would like, guys. But I'm under no illusions that everyone is really um, losing interest in this game, sadly. It's the way things work when a game's been out for this length of time. I just cannot wait for a new game to, to be released, hopefully this year. Surely we hear some news on PGA Tour 2K23 very shortly. That one just run off the, the back of the green but this is a good chip in opportunity I'll be disappointed if I don't chip this in oh wow I think that just about sums up my luck at times red fast slips out and on another day I could comfortably be 10 11 under par here but the scorecard never lies certainly a putting a lot better today than what I normally do but let's see if we can kick off the cart path here once again I'm seeing a little shot down the right hand side oh there's another red fast just when I said I'm starting to feel my swing time and that's probably going to work its way into the the heavy rough here but yeah I think this is a prime example I'm not swinging too well here we're seven under after a double bogey Let's see if we can land this to the front of the green. Play the slope. Oh, it's a tiny slope. It's got the legs just about to carry the water. It should kick left. Tell you what, that would have been such a good shot if I did execute the perfect. But yeah, I feel as if my, um, my putting is my strong point of my round today. And it's very rare I say that. And if it wasn't for draining two or three of these really good putts. I certainly wouldn't be anywhere near seven under. Do you pick up another birdie? My 10th birdie of the round. Sadly, I'm only eight under due to that double bogey. But hole number 16. This is gonna be a slight downhill tee shot into this headwind. So just deal off in this tee shot a little bit. There's a perfect. This one looks pretty good, should be in the fairway. Hopefully that does hold the right hand side of this fairway. And that is going to leave me a really nice look into the, the 16th green. There's another away. shot of the train over there, look how cool that is. Such a cool course, I don't think I've ever seen a train in the game prior to this. Hopefully I can just land this on that uphill slope. This is tracking well, has it got the legs? Surely it has the legs. If this ball runs out, this could be a gimme birdie. Come on, ball. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, it's just checked up. Not the, the most difficult putt in the world, though. 31 feet out. Turning both ways, but it's certainly turning a little bit more from left to right. Come on. Turn. Oh, it does turn. It's another fantastic putt. I do get to nine under par. Two holes remain, and let's see if I can finish double figures under par. With a double bogey on master swing difficulty, not playing my best golf, but certainly putting really well. And it just goes to prove that driving is for show and putting is for dope. Just going to deal off this pitching wedge and apply a little bit of top spin here. That 8 mile per hour wind will help me out. That's a perfect. 
The ball needs to get down. I probably shouldn't have applied the top spin. No, that's really going to run past the hole now. Really didn't need the top spin. That'll do nicely. But it's another putt. Feet to the cup. I would like to think that I can convert here. It should turn. Putt appears to be online. Oh, it just breezes by the right-hand side edge. Wow. Just misread that one ever so slightly. I do nice drop putt. it in for the part. And we will head on to the 18th hole, which I can recall being a really good eagle opportunity here if you find the fairway. So just going to apply a tiny bit of draw, take this down the left center. It's another red slow, and I, I, I just don't know where the red slow's coming out of. Red fast, yeah, I can fully understand, but that's two really random red slows I've encountered in this round. I don't think I can reach this green in two now, but I am going to take it on. At worst, we are going to be in the bunker, but just lofting up five woods here. I do get the perfect. Comfortably carry the water, but no, it is going to find the sand there. Lucky not to run under that boardwalk there. But this should be a straightforward splash shot, and hopefully I do get up and down for the birdie, which would put me to ten under par and beat my round on pro but like I said the wind was certainly more challenging yes. in my society round I do drop that for birdie and that is going to conclude today's video guys but if you did enjoy this round please make sure to leave a like if you are new to the channel please make sure to hit the subscribe button get out there and play this course because it is fantastic and until the next video take care peace out and love you all bye I hope you did too and I hope you come back again real soon here on PGA Tour 2K21.